morning everyone. How are you today? I know that's a kind of a weird question to ask in this unusual time, this different time, this strange time we all find ourselves in. But I'd like to talk about those words because they don't necessarily, they're not cinnamons for bad. They don't mean terrible or difficult. No, they mean unique, personal, unusual, strange, different, weird. I like to think I am all of those things. And we all are in our own ways. None of us are the same as each other. Um, when I'm face painting, not that I can do it at the moment, that's one thing that's gone out the window, of course. Um, but when I'm face painting, one of my favorite forms of creativity, uh, my, one of the things I'm best known for is not painting everyone the same, every child the same. If they ask for a dragon, they'll be their own kind of dragon. A unicorn, a mermaid, a pirate, I'll say. Yep, you can have this design, but you're not going to look the same as her. You're not going to look the same as him because you're not the Amua yourself. And all those things that make you unique will make your unicorn, mermaid, pirate, fairy unique. The shape of the eyes, the twinkle, the colours that you surround yourself with, the things you like, flowers, stars, rainbows. So weird, strange and unusual does not mean bad. Just as I've been walking this morning, from the moment I stepped out my door and stood on my front porch, I'm blessed to have a front porch, by the way. I know a lot of people have had to get help. I've had to get help um, finding accommodation at the moment. And we are, again, we are blessed that we have organisations, particularly here in Rotorua, that can help you with that. I hear our homeless have been helped into hotels, motels. It's a time to readdress community and really understand what's important and look after each other. And I see my hometown doing that. I see New Zealand doing that. <clears throat> and I'm so grateful. So I stood on my front porch this morning and the first thing I saw as the sun was shining and streaming over my neighbour's roof into where I was, where all these strands of spider web, spiders had been busy overnight trying to catch some bugs, but I don't know what they hoped to do with single strands just here and there, between everything for about six metres, felt like it anyway, six metres from one plant to another plant. And these strands of web were just, just shining rainbows at me, like that particular neon blue light that when I see it, I think of spirit. I often catch glimpses of that out the corner of my eye. It's a beautiful neon blue colour. Um, but there was also the neon, neon pink and red and yellow and oh, just so 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 beautiful greens and all those colors that don't perhaps exist it's in the way the light refracts off things like a butterfly's wing and as I looked at this I became aware of my eyelashes and my eyelashes I was looking through them too and they were too just catching the sunlight coming over my neighbour's roof as I looked at the rainbows and the spiderwebs. 
all these strands connecting us to each other, connecting the world, all this light. And my eyelashes themselves turned into rainbows collecting the light. And I was looking through this veil of um, like psychedelic colors. And I thought, who needs drugs when you're Karen? <laughs> um, I thought this is much closer to reality than the negativity and the fear that is overlaying it in most people's minds right now. I thought this light and more than that, the light, once it is broken down into its individual colours, its spectrum, its rainbow, the same colours, the same spectrum, the same rainbow that align to our body's energy centres. And when you can see these things, truly see these things, you start seeing them everywhere. Because what you focus on, your day truly does become. And so, as I stepped out on my walk, I began seeing a number of things. All surrounding light, but also messages surrounding the times that we find ourselves in. For instance, the first thing I saw in direct contrast as I stepped off my property was a empty beer bottle lying on my front lawn and you know what it was it was corona beer someone's had a corona party um but this too was a message to me from the universe to shift my perspective to listen to the birds beautiful tuis around me at the moment they've been following feels like it anyway and the beautiful sunlight coming through the trees. Hard to show. But as I said, on my walk, after the spider webs and after the corona beer bottle, I started seeing shadows and light. And you know the shadows on the footpath, the shadows on the road. They're all coming from objects in our path. They're coming from things. They're not coming from the sun, the light. The light is always there. The light is always shining. Those are just things in the way of the light casting those shadows. See where I'm going with that? I barely do. I'll have to watch this video over myself later and try and get some of my own meaning. But um, I was looking at all of those shadows and all of the light catching and all the different things while I was doing that. like And the dust that sat along the edge of a bus stop that had light glittering all the way through it. Uh, the places I always see it, like in the grass. I really don't know if you could see any of that because I can't see what you're looking at there. But to me, every single blade of grass has multiple, multiple pieces of light, glitter, diamonds in the dew. And the dust floating through the air, there is light. So it's not just objects that are getting in the way of the light and causing shadow. It's objects within the light that are catching it and reflecting it and shining it back. And that is really important to know because with us communication skills, face to face, person to person, heart to heart, kanohi, ki te kanohi, face to face, we can reflect that light back. 
so much more powerfully than other things in this world. And you know I see it in the simplest things like glass broken on the road, reflecting light back at me. The windows of the houses I passed really glaring light back at me as they turned into mirrors. The cars winking it at me as they go by on the road or sit in people's driveways. People leaving their lights on because maybe they're having a good sleep in during this Rahui um, period, this time of rest for the world, this protective time for the world. So people's front door lights were still on, there were still lights in the windows, which is an old symbol for we're here for each other. Here for you, I'm a safe haven. Oh, I know that we can't just go and visit our friends at the moment, but we are blessed to have so many other forms of communication like this like the telephone, like the internet. And we're so blessed to be still able to get out and about for walks and say hi to each other. Hi. hi. And hear children laughing. Um, still playing in the water, you know, or at least looking at it and laughing like the river dances itself along the stones. Good morning. So that's my message for the morning. I didn't quite know it was going to come out that way but that's how it works for me. I kind of just turn the camera on and start talking when I'm in when I'm in a quiet space within my mind and I let whatever comes out, come out. I haven't going to be very raw and vulnerable here with you right now. I haven't felt like turning on my video camera for a while because I too have been struggling and I'm sure there will be days ahead too where I feel like things get a bit too much. I've, as I said in a post yesterday, sometimes our first responsibility is always to ourselves and our family. And doing this self work, understanding where all of our emotions and reactions are coming from is not easy. It's like the world at the moment is going through a great big period of that. Like the world's feeling emotion and all these triggers and all this darkness as well and, that, and that's getting in the way of the light that's always there but it doesn't stop the light always being there. And it doesn't mean there's nothing you can do about it if you take that first responsibility inside yourself to look at what you can do today to help yourself be strong, to help yourself see things in different lights and to help those others, good morning, in your circle. Help them to touch their hearts too and feel the truth of the peace and the love that they are that can never be taken away. The light that is forever present no matter what's casting a shadow. And the learning, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wisdoms that we will all get out of this time, I promise you, because it's the way of the world the way that it works. All trials, all difficulties, all pains, no matter where they come from or what intensity you experience them in, 
always in hindsight if you do the self work the heart work always they are for growth always you find beautiful light wisdoms and learnings out of them always with the right perspective they help change you grow you transform you into love Aroha noi everybody talk to you again soon